relation between commercial unit and SI unit of energy. See here, commercial unit we write kilowatt hour. We can write here one kilowatt into one hour. You know, for SI unit, everything has to be in meter and time has to be in seconds. So here, SI unit of power is watt. So we must write here watt. So we can write one thousand watt into thirty six hundred seconds. Here, the SI unit of power is watt and SI unit of time is seconds. Now we can write 3600, 36 into 10 raised to power 5 watt into seconds. Watt into second is known as joule. So we can write here, putting the decimal over here, 3.6 into 10 raised to power 6 joule. So 1 kilowatt hour is this. So if you get question, can convert or convert 1 kilowatt hour into joule. So you have to take like this step, very simple steps. Now, say in this example, an electric heater is rated 1500 watt, how much energy does it use in 10 hours? So, say here, you see the power, power is given to you 1500 watt, we can convert into kilowatt, so we can take here 1.5 kilowatt, this is the power. Time we are given, 10 hours. So, we can write here energy. So, what is formula for energy is equal to power into time. So, we can write here 1.5 kilowatt into 10 hour. So, that is 15 kilowatt hour. So, this is the energy consumed. So, I have mentioned this energy in commercial unit of energy. You can convert into joules also. If somebody is asking to find in SI unit by replacing 1 kilowatt hour is equal to 3.6 into 10 raised to power 6 joule. If you multiply this quantity with this 15, you will be getting answer in SI unit of energy. Now we will come to the next question. Now see in this example, an object of mass 40 kg is raised to a height of 5 meter above the ground. What is its potential energy? If the object is allowed to fall, find its kinetic energy when it is half way down. So, see here, this is a ground. There is an object of an mass 40 kg and it is lifted to a height of how much meter? 5 meter. So, now what is its potential energy at this height? So, we can write potential energy is equal to mgh. So, this is 40 into 10 into 5, I have taken g is equal to 10. So, we can write here 2000 joule. So, total energy at this highest point is 2000 joule, it is called potential energy. Now, when it is allowed to fall just in between midpoint, what will be its potential energy again? sorry kinetic energy. So, you know it when it comes in between. So, we know it the energy kinetic energy will be converted into potential energy. So, potential energy will be half here and whatever the potential energy has been lost by the body that will get converted into kinetic energy. Now, see this is the potential energy at the highest point. When object falls from here potential energy changes into kinetic energy at comes to the midpoint here what happened half of the potential energy has lost it means that has converted into kinetic energy. So, obviously, kinetic energy at midpoint will be half of the potential energy that is 2000 joule that is equal to 1000 joule. So, at this point kinetic energy will be 1000 joule. Now, let us go for the next question. 